You're Korean? Yes. What's, what, what's your name? Uh, Ji Wong. Ji Wong? Ji Wong. Ji Wong. I go by Abe in the States. Abe? Because of people like me. <laughs> Just call me Bob. <laughs> I want you to pick out the person with the ideal skin. Just overnight, your skin turned as dark as her skin. What would your family say? Oh, throw it off on the Korean guy. I see. I would say... How many people in Korea? Who would the majority of people in Korea, especially women, choose? What do you think her ancestry is? And listen, <laughs> she knows she's white. She's an expert on white people. First off, can I see that image right there? Um, if that's your image of evolution, no wonder. 네, 이 사진은 인류의 진화를 나타낸 그림입니다. 그런데 여기에 이상한 점이 있는데요. Why is that? Because the person on the far right who's most evolved almost always, I could pull up a dozen of those images, don't accept evolution because that's the image that you have. I wouldn't accept that either. The fossil record and the genetic record are immensely complex and being developed year by year by year. Solid story. We're discovering new fossils all the time and because of genetics we're learning a lot of new things and so it's changing and this is nature. Science improves and as science improves we collect more data and we collect better data and so we have to change our story. 오늘 강의는 인류의 진화에 대한 궁금증에서 시작됩니다. 그리고 곧바로 실험으로 이어지는데요. Okay, so we're going to do one. We're going to do one. Somebody from Korea. I need someone from Korea. Who's actually from Korea? Preferably a woman. 한국인 여학생 지원자를 뽑으려 했는데 일단 손을 번쩍 든 남학생. Who's from Korea? 다시 둘러보던 교수님은 Dude, who, seriously, who's Korean? I need a Korean. Okay, come down. Are you really Korean or are you like well, you're from Korea, right? No, come down. Just come down. 한국인이 맞는지 대차 확인하시고 오케이를 하셨습니다. Bro, and I need someone who's uh. 그리고 한 명을 더 뽑는데요. You, do you identify as black? Are you mixed? You're mixed, right? It's like okay, okay, whatever. All right, and then I need, dude, help me pick out, help me pick out a white per, the whitest white person in class. <laughs> I mean, like, so white, they're translucent white. You can, like, see through their skin. No, I don't mean in terms of your... No, I mean really, really white skin. Light skin, like... Dude, it could be you, bro. This dude's really white. Wait, can you wait? Wait, can you get a shot of him? Wait, hang on, we're gonna have a vote. Take your hat off. Dude, take your hat off. Ah, oh, dude, come on, come on, come on, let's go, come on. It's you, bro. 엄청난 친구의 등장에 모두 웃음이 터지고 말았습니다. 한국인 친구와 흑인 혼혈 친구가 밖으로 나가자 자연스레 따라 나가는데요. Actually, dude, white guy, come, you come with me. 아차, 백인 친구는 가는 게 아니었습니다. Really black skin, so black that it's like blue. Tinted. 그러곤 아주 까만 흑인 친구를 찾는데요. If you have really dark skin, there's almost like a blue tint. Dude. 예정엔 없었지만 마침 교수님 마음에 쏙된 학생이 눈에 띄었습니다. It's always like the person who was one of the people who's really black and they're like me, like I'm black. Like yeah, dude, you're black. You're not the blackest person in class, but we're gonna take you. No, 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 it's gonna be you. Yeah, yeah, come. 그렇게 세 명의 학생이 더 뽑혔습니다. Dude, what, what's your name? George. George? Dude, perfect name. What's your name? Chris. Chris? Yeah. Okay, Chris, meet George. What's your name? Sokia. So so yeah. Oh, yeah, because you were up here. I yeah, I know, dude. I got it. All right. <laughs> okay, you ready? Hey. 그리고 문이 열리는데요. Uh, okay, come on out. You're Korean? Yes. What's, what, what's your name? Uh, Ji Wong. Ji Wong? Ji Wong. G -yum. I go by Abe in the States. Abe? Because of people like me. <laughs> Just like you. <laughs> Ruining your name. <laughs> Just call me Bob. <laughs> All right. You look totally like a Bob. All right. And what's your name again? Taryn. Taryn? Yes. Oh, you so look like a Taryn. 다섯 학생의 소개가 끝나고 실험 시작. I want you to pick out the person with the ideal skin. 오늘은 아주 극과 극의 선택이었습니다. Don't think too much about it. Who's got the ideal skin? Come, you can get close. Look at this guy. Look at his skin. Look at her skin. Look at him. Ideal skin. 
What do you mean ideal skin? Dude, I just what I mean. If I was your friend walking down the street and someone said, that guy, let's pretend we're friends. The three of us. And we're walking down the street and here we are and we're cruising along because we're headed out to somewhere and I, and I said, hey, that person has the ideal skin. You would not ask me what I mean by that. You would just move on and assume what I meant by it. Same with you. So who has the ideal skin? You can go first. Yeah. Oh, throw it off on the Korean guy. I see. I would say uh, that guy. This guy? Yes. Yeah, what is it? Oh, hang on. Before you answer, who would you say? Yeah, just this go really for it. Awkward. Ideal skin. Don't think too much. I'll go with you. Oh, yeah. you're going to go with your sister there? <laughs> what? But I don't mean that literally. Why? Okay, why do you see in her? What's, what about her skin? It's really clear. I mean, you all have really good skin. I don't, I, I don't know. If you came home. 답하기 어려워하는 친구를 위해 상황극을 시작합니다. And you came home with her skin. Just overnight, your skin turned as dark as her skin. What would your family say? 꽤 강력한데요. <laughs> Did you, you came home and your, fam, your skin was as dark as her I can't skin. replicate it. It was just like a, like yeah, a thing. Yeah, it was. Bro, how many people in Korea... Who would the majority of people in Korea, especially women, choose as the ideal, the best skin? 시청자 여러분들은 어떤 선택을 할것 같으신가요? Let me make it easy for you. Would they choose her? Are Koreans trying to have her skin? No. Would they choose this guy? Oh. <laughs> dude, dude, let me help you. It's really hard. When, it's really dude, hard. To when's tell. the last time you've been to Korea, my friend? Uh, just this um, okay. summer. Okay, so you have no excuses. Who are they going to choose? <laughs> 한참을 고민하던 한국 학생이 드디어 이를 뗍니다. I will just stick with that guy. Oh, okay, hang on a second. All right, let's go. Let's go to that. So we happen to have the opportunity to speak, to have a visitor come to class uh, via VTC. She is one of the world's expert on skin. In fact, many people think she is the most knowledgeable person about skin in the world. Nina, Professor Nina Javlonsky, how are you? Hey, guys. <laughs> Welcome to Penn State. Can you hear me? Yep, we can hear you. Great. Hey, so when you see the, these three people, um, can you, can the three of you stand? What do you see? Tell us the story of skin. How'd they get to look like this? What's the story? <laughs> look at the, these three folks. Like, how did we, how did they come to have three very different skin tones? 간신히 전달된 샘 교수님의 목소리. 영문을 모른 채 미소만 띄고 있던 니나 교수님이 드디어 피부에 얽힌 이야기를 풀기 시작했습니다. Well, I mean, what's, what's fascinating is that they, they all have beautiful skin, they have young, uh, unmarked skin, but uh, the ancestors of the two people on the right evolved in a place with a lot of intense sun, a lot of strong ultraviolet radiation. So the dark pigment in their skin has really worked to their advantage over thousands of years to protect their skin from damage from ultraviolet radiation. We know that darkly pigmented skin evolved early in our species history and has continued to be important in the lives of people living under intense sun in Africa and elsewhere. But the ancestors of the guy on the left with much lighter skin have a different history because when his ancestors left with others from Africa about 60,000 years ago, they began to move into areas of the old world that had much weaker sunlight with much less ultraviolet radiation. And in fact, I would venture that his ancestors came from in the last few thousand years from far northern Europe, possibly the British Isles where there's very little sun and it's quite seasonal. And under these conditions, it's actually re really important that there be as little pigment in the skin as possible. That helps to maximize the production of vitamin D in the skin, which turns out to be enormously important. 
그리고 교수님께서 다시 질문을 하는데요. So, Nina, thanks for that was immensely clear, concise. I hear from a lot of people who have very dark skin that they don't like it because it's not beautiful. And they identified the more beautiful skin would be lighter skin. And I've talked to countless people with really dark skin who feel a certain kind of shame about that or wish they had lighter skin. 그저 피부색이 다를 뿐인데 어째서 이런 감정을 느껴야 하는 걸까요? 니나 교수님은 이렇게 답했습니다. It's one of the saddest things in human history. European philosophers and naturalists around 250 to 300 years ago began to put qualities and judgments on skin color which never existed before in human history. So, you know, when people say, oh, my skin is too dark, or it's too light, or it's too this or too that, we're judging it according to social norms that are recent historical inventions of people living in Europe who mostly didn't know very much at all about human variation. And they had a lot of preconceptions about what they liked and what they didn't like. That is, it makes me incredibly sad. Because our skin is the product of evolution, wherever we are, our ancestors and these opinions that were framed just a few centuries ago, our identities have poisoned the way that we think about our own skin. And that is a human tragedy. So, so Sokna, for example, had her ancestors not been really dark, they would have for likely succumb to the ultraviolet rays of the sun and they would not have produced their genes and she wouldn't be standing here today. Is that right? I mean, at the, so we owe whatever our skin tone is, whatever it is, we should be thankful for that because that's right. our ancestors to survive and thrive. Because our skin color conferred real survival advantage to us. So, you know, it's like, it's, it's beautiful, it's wonderful, it's to be celebrated, whatever it is. And if you're one of those many millions of people between these two extremes of skin color, it means that your ancestors probably lived under an intermediate solar regime. So, you know, it's just like, celebrate it. And it's a natural, beautiful characteristic, regardless where you are on the beautiful spectrum of color. Right. And in fact, you know, one of, one of the things that we've been working on at Penn State and elsewhere is making sure that people get the right messages to protect their skin, but also to stay healthy. Because the sun is actually important for our overall health because we make vitamin D from sun exposure of our skin. And in the middle of a state college winter, anybody with really dark skin is not going to be able to make vitamin D. And that's a real problem for their health. So everybody has to. So, so now that what that means is this is your first state college winter. So make sure you get whenever the sun's out, make sure you go out and you get a little bit of it. 이번엔 혼혈인 여학생의 피부만 보고 조상을 맞춰보기로 합니다. 분명 어두운 색이지만 흑인이라기엔 밝아 보이는데요. 시청자 여러분들은 어떻게 보이시나요? She identifies as African. Can you get closer? No, you got to get closer because I uh, <laughs> can show the screen. I want to make sure I can. Can I see? Uh, okay. What, what do you think? What's her? What do you what do you think her ancestry is? Well, she has a lot of European ancestry in addition to African ancestry. So, you know, I can't tell exactly what European countries it is, but uh, but you know, she has, she has lightly pigmented skin, sort of intermediate skin. She can tan well. Uh, so, you know, she's, she's a classic American mixture. You know, we're all mixtures, but some people are more obviously visible mixtures. You know, I love the way she looks. I think she's, you know, a beautiful, healthy young woman, just like the others that we've been looking at, you know, earlier. I just think it's just fantastic. And however you want to identify it's great, but just enjoy whatever color and, and facial features that you have. They are beautiful. And okay. the, at least in right. your ancestors, these were framed by evolution. So it's like celebrate being a product of evolution. Okay, I think one, it's great. Hang one second. What, how do you identify, by the way? What's your, what's your, who are your, what's your background? 
Who's your family? If you're talking to the mic. Okay. Um, my dad's African American. My mom's African American. That's pretty much it. Have you ever done an ancestry test? No. Oh, uh, okay. We got to do one for you. Find out. Like where we get Nina saying you got some European blood in there. So let's. Oh yeah, yeah, a lot. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> and listen, she knows she's white. She's an expert on white people. Hey, Nina. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Listen, thank you for taking the time and joining us. We really appreciate it. Oh, it's a pleasure. Thanks, guys. Great class. 박수와 함께 오늘의 실험 그리고 니나 교수님의 설명을 마쳤습니다. 오늘은 인류의 진화에서부터 피부색까지인 강의였습니다. 인류의 진화 그림은 딱히 관심을 갖지 않아도 살면서 몇 번은 보게 되는 그림입니다. 그런데 그 그림에 의문을 가졌던 적은 없었던 것 같은데요. 언제나 백인 남자의 모습에 비슷한 체형, 비슷한 피부색과 머리색을 하고 있었습니다. 그런데 과연 그 모습이 인류의 최종 진화 모습일까요? 지금도 인간의 모습은 정말 다양합니다. 그리고 백인의 모습이 가장 진화된 모습이 아닐 수도 있습니다. 어떤 모습이 인류의 진화로 표현되든 모든 그림에서 한 가지 모습만 있다면 한 번쯤 생각해 봐야 하지 않을까요? 오늘 강의는 여기까지입니다. 시청해 주셔서 정말 감사합니다. 강의를 해주신 샘 리처드 교수님 감사합니다.